After more than a decade of court battles, a cross was installed on top of Sunrise Rock in Mojave National Preserve on Sunday, Veterans Day. Two courts had ruled that the cross was an unconstitutional government endorsement of religion because it sat on federal land. But a land exchange approved by the U.S. Supreme Court allowed the California veterans of foreign wars to become owners of the rock. A sign tells visitors that the land is private, not public property, and a metal cable ropes the rock off from the public land. More than a hundred people watched as a seven-foot-tall iron cross was hoisted onto and then bolted into Sunrise Rock, which is 12 miles off Interstate 15, about halfway between Barstow and Las Vegas. The ceremony after the installation occurred 78 years after World War I veterans erected the cross in honor of their fallen comrades. Earl Falk, the commander of the California Veterans of Foreign Wars, formally rededicated the cross. And for this preservation of our way of life, this cross is a symbol of commitment made many years ago by Henry and Wanda Sandoz to protect and to maintain the request of a falling comrade. Reese Lloyd, a Banning resident representing the American Legion at the ceremony, said the lawsuit was an attack on religious freedom. The resurrection of the cross here is a great victory, I think, for all, all veterans and all Americans, really. Because what it amounts to is this, that a, after a 10-year fight of the veterans of foreign wars, the American Legion, uh, pro bono attorneys like Liberty Institute, the Alliance Defense Fund and others, uh, Thomas More Law Center, we have triumphed over the ACLU, which has become the Taliban of American liberal secularism, destroying crosses uh, for profit in lawsuits all over the country. Henry and Wanda Sandoz of Yucca Valley had cared for the cross for three decades. The Sandozes became caretakers in 1983. Riley Bembry, one of the World War I veterans who installed the cross, was near death and asked the couple to take care of it after he passed away. A wood frame photo of Bembry sat on a table during the ceremony. For PE.com and the Press Enterprise, I'm David Olson.